What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video on uh, on Jasmine, your daily updates. Yesterday we got some nice bullish momentum, in general that was just uh, market momentum I would say, uh, but wanted to do a full, a full update on what that means for Jasmine. Um, I think Jasmine in general, I mean you, you, you could have, it's, it's still a very well tradable coin, like if you compare the volume of Jasmine to some other relatively big coins, it's, uh, it's decent at, uh, at 100 million dollars. Compared to the market cap, it's, it's not great, but that's also a metric that doesn't really matter in my opinion. Um, but no, I mean, the, the, the market situation for Jasmine still very much the same. All right, so yesterday morning, we, we got a bounce from 2.25 cents. In my opinion, if we look at the, the situation right now, the, the consolidation which we are in, at least on the one hour time frame, is just this. All right, this is the consolidation. Uh, we are moving within this consolidation right now. So, so we hit the bottom, we're going up, going back up to the top again. And then when we're at the top, and, and we also talked about that when we hit the bottom, we have to talk about, all right, well, can we actually get a breakout? Because that's the interesting part, uh, which we are waiting for. That's always the case with a, with a range. At some point of time, the range will break. Uh, then you have to have confirmation that, it, that it's not a fake out. And then it's an opportunity. Um, so all right, so so what we see right now is that Bitcoin got a got a nice bullish breakout. I think overall Bitcoin can stay bullish here for uh, a little bit longer. So then, if we assume the, the 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 correlation that we've seen from Jasmine and Bitcoin will continue, I would say it's also most likely that Jasmine will continue to be bullish here, um, and that's also in line with the technical structure for Jasmine. So so it all lines up very nicely. Uh, found resistance here at uh, 2.45 cents, strong resistance with the 0 0.5 and the 200 EMA FIB. Most likely, I would say, is that we move up to, to the top of that range at 2.5 and 2.55 cents. Um, now, do I think you should buy Jasmine then? No, All right, We're in the middle of a range. Wait for some sort of, well, uh, unless you are, unless you're trading the range, uh, which is normally not something I do. Um, but no, it, it's most likely we'll get up there, but there's absolutely no guarantee. A range can be very, like if you have a range like this, Right, you can have this, and then all of a sudden something like this. That is a possibility. So that would mean that this is the, the, the local top for Jasmine and that we're now dropping down back, back down to the bottom. Also in light of a little bit of uh, more bearish momentum in the last uh, three, four hours from Bitcoin. Um, but all right, so the main question is, is that, all right, if we look at Jasmine right here, the momentum is still very, very low. All right, and you need momentum to get a bullish breakout. So even if Jasmine is able to get up to that to that main resistance level at 2.5 and 2.55 cents, I see absolutely no reason why we would have a bullish breakout above that. You need momentum for that. If Bitcoin turns very bullish here and it starts to rally, um, then sure, Jasmine will get up to the top here, but it will still not break out because there is no momentum. Um, and the CVD right here, I would say, is, is relatively positive, right? So, so the CVD, if I can drag it up, is relatively flat, I would say. Uh, and you can see that, that, that there's a bit of a, a conversion from, uh, from, from shorts into, uh, in, into longs. You can see that there's a bit of a divergence here uh, between open interest and CVD. That's positive, but that's not going to help you break out. So for me, and then if we if, if we look at this one hour tra trend, first of all, we are consolidating, but there is a bit of a, a, a bearish um, bearish direction in this consolidation. And on the four hour time frame, we are still super bearish. All right. So when we're talking about a breakout, I think short term is actually most likely that we will still uh, move up to the top of the of the range. But ultimately, I think it's most likely we will still get a bearish breakout and a drop down here unless the market turns much more bullish. But those are my thoughts for now. All right, so if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. For now, that's all I think you need to know. If you do have any questions, let me know. Like I said, uh, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.